What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Of course, we got the new announcement for the new Call of Duty game yesterday, which is titled Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This is Infinity Ward's installment into the series. If you have not seen the trailer, I will link it down in the description below and you can watch over that. This game will be released on October the 25th. Now, we did get some details yesterday, multiplayer details. The single player campaign will be making a return. So there's a lot of things kind of going on with this game that interest me and also kind of worry me. So in case you guys are new to the channel, I've been a long time first person shooter fan. Uh, first person shooters are kind of my passion. I don't always upload just first person shooters to the channel. I love playing tons of different games and bringing tons of different content to you all that watch. So I don't always just necessarily do first person shooters, but I have played COD for a long time. I started playing Call of Duty back in Call of Duty 2. So I've played pretty much every single COD since the start. I have not missed a game since Call of Duty 2. So it, it is a kind of an interesting thing when they announced it was going to be an Infinity Ward game that is going to be Modern Warfare. That really kind of excited me. And then I saw the title, which is just Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which I feel is going to kind of confuse people and they're going to think it's a remake of COD 4. I'm not sure why they decided to name that. But they did state that it was not a reboot or a remake of Call of Duty 4, it was just a reimagining of that original game. Now they also talked about the campaign and kind of this is going to be the most realistic campaign that they had ever created. It was going to kind of look into the gray areas of war and they also showcased Price in the trailer which is one of the fan favorite characters and I'm sure they will probably bring some more fan favorite characters back into that campaign because to me it seems like they're trying to go back to their roots, trying to go back to that nostalgia kind of thing and make a fun Call of Duty to play. Now, they did talk a little bit about some things that kind of revolve around multiplayer. One was there will be no traditional season pass. They said the maps will be free to everyone. I find this very interesting and very surprising, and it makes me very happy. I feel that season passes are ridiculous no matter what game you play. If there's a season pass and you have to pay 100 bucks for a game pretty much to play it, I just do not like that. I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. So I, I think COD has finally realized most companies are going to that free content idea. So I think this will be a big thing for Call of Duty. They have not announced any kind of microtransactions. I'm sure there will be. That way they can kind of make that revenue back from not having a season pass. As long as microtransactions are cosmetic and not anything to do with weapons, I am perfectly fine with them. Um, the other thing they did announce that is interesting uh, and uh, excites a lot of people and kind of makes a lot of people unhappy is cross-platform play. Xbox, PC, and PS4 will all be able to play together according to Infinity Ward. Now, while this makes people some, uh, some people nervous, in case you have never played on PC, I have a mouse and keyboard. You can be very snappy with your aim. And I think a lot of people feel that uh, PC players will be able to kind of take over the lobby and that could be the case unless they implement some kind of system here. I don't know what that could be. It may even be something like Fortnite system where you can go in and choose who you want to play with. If you want to play with just other console players or if you want to be able to play with everyone, maybe they'll do something like that. But it does really excite me that Xbox and PS4 will be able to play together now. I think the more people you can get into the game, the longer that this life cycle will kind of continue and the player base will continue to stay large. And I think they, they could do a lot of things with this. Personally, I, I feel that Call of Duty should only be a, a, a game that's released every two years. And I think if you have everyone playing together, it makes that a lot more of a viable choice. Whether they'll do that or not, whoever knows. One thing they did announce that I really did not care for was that all content will come to PS4 first. So I'm, I'm assuming they're meaning the free maps and, and things when they're released. PS4 will get them before Xbox and PC. This is another old idea that I wish they would get rid of. I'm not a fan of this. I've always felt if you buy a game, everyone should get the content at the same time. You've already purchased that game. Why you have to wait is just dumb, in my opinion. Hopefully, it will not last that long. Maybe it will only be something like, you know, if you get content for like a week before uh, the other players. If it's longer than a week, I really feel like this is going to be a bad choice, in my opinion. Now, the, the kind of last thing I want to talk about is just my overall thoughts about this. There's a lot of opinions flying around out there is it just going to be a remake you know it is just a remake whatever the case may be 
I feel like they could do a lot of good things with this. A lot of people are excited about campaigns. I think Infinity Ward's campaigns are some of the best ever made. So I'm really looking forward to playing that campaign. When it comes to multiplayer, there's still a lot of questions. Will there be specialists? I, I hate specialists. I think that is one of the my least favorite things that's ever been added in Call of Duty. So I hope that's gone. Also, how will this cross-platform play work? Is it going to be run by PC players or is it going to not be? I mean, there's a lot of questions. It kind of gave us more questions than answers overall. But I think it does leave a lot of excitement in people's minds about another Modern Warfare game. To me, it makes me nervous and excited at the same time. You know, I'm kind of happy about it, and at the same time, I'm kind of worried about it. But, of course, as more news comes out about this, we will get a lot more news between now and October. I'll bring you guys kind of the info along the way. And leave me a comment and let me know what you think about it. Uh, are you excited about the game? Or are you kind of nervous as I am? Anyway, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.